Hey everyone, welcome back. So my next video, this is a haul from Vintage Chic Sense and this is the order that I placed that broke my band, but I'm hoping to stick to it now after this. I just got a little excited about the samplers that she listed this time. I really, really love her samplers. And then there was also a um, bombshell blossom bag in a scent blend that I really, really wanted. So I made an order. I'm going to break this up into three videos because her samplers have so many different scents in them and there is one in particular that's really massive that if I try and do all of them in one video this will be like an hour long video. So I'm going to break it up into three. This first one I'm going to do the smallest sampler and then the, the samples and then the bombshell blossom bag that I got. So anyhow here's her business card with her website and her next restock. She does restocks once a month in case you're not um, familiar with her opening style and it's all ready to ship and the stuff usually does sell out pretty fast but you can make a wish list ahead of time of what items you want so that when she does open you can just add the stuff to your cart and check out right away. And this particular opening, I actually happened to catch her right when she announced on Facebook that she opened the site and I got in, got the things, everything I wanted on my wish list and checked out. So I'm putting this down because I'm gonna when I go through the bombshell blossom bag, I'm gonna take this stuff out so you can see it. So I don't probably actually need it this second, but she always includes a doily with your order and a little message, which is cute. Um, so this says enjoy Jenny. And then you always get your receipt, which I'm not gonna show you because it has my address on it. Uh, and then the samples. So you get two samples per order. This was all done in one order. Um, I know a lot of times, and I've done it before myself, people place multiple orders so that like the first order, they'll make sure those are things they want the most and then they'll go back and see what else is left, etc. So let me go ahead and jump in here. And then, oh, I'm gonna, I need to make sure I have scent descriptions as well for some of this stuff because I know a lot of it I do not know. So I'll apologize in advance, but let's see. Okay, well, anyhow, the samples. This first one is Mambo Italiano, and this one actually smells amazing. I don't know if this is a new scent. I think it's fairly new. I think she might have introduced it in the last restock. And the scent description is strawberry passion, honeydew, cannoli, vanilla wafers, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and birthday cake. And it combines two of my favorite things, strawberry and honeydew, with a bunch of bakery sweet scents. So um, it just smells amazing. And I did not pick up on the honeydew right away. Um, it wasn't until I read the scent description for this one that I knew what it was. But it smells so good. And the Strawberry Passion, um, Strawberry Passion's a little bit more of like a tart strawberry, but this is delicious. Mm, and all those bakery scents and that whipped cream just really cream it up and kind of make it sweet and delicious. So this is a great one, but I need to hold off on buying for a while. And I have ink on my thumb, so just ignore that. But anyhow, so that's the first sample. The second sample, I did not look up the scent description, so I'll just tell you what I think it smells like. But this is Maria Von Trapp's Austrian Escape. Oh, and this smells like lemon curd or like a key lime scent. More like limey than lemon curd, actually. And I don't know what else is in it. I just get that really pungent, strong kind of lime scent. And that's pretty much all I smell on cold. So I'm not sure what else is included in that. And then I just realized too, this first one, yeah, this must have been samples she made up for her last opening in, in July because of the date on that. But the cool thing is that means that's probably close to ready to melt. I usually, for my vintage chic scents, I usually try to cure everything for two or three months. At a minimum, I do a month, but if I can do longer, I will. But, um, so let me show you the bombshell blossom bag that I got. And these are one pound bags of shapes that are in three of her fragrances that she has. And I am so not prepared for this video. So I apologize. But anyhow, so it's 1927 Milk Glass and Bluebird Cafe. So 1927 is like one of my favorite scents from her. It's a blend of pink sugar, her fresh picked strawberry, and sugar milk. Then Milk Glass is I think like Wildberry or Wildberry Mousse. 
and sugar milk and like sugar cookie or something. I can't remember exactly. There's like, I know there's, I think there's sugar milk in it. And I know there's like wild berry, wild berry mousse, and there might be a bakery scent, but I don't recall that third note in it. And then um, Bluebird Cafe is her fresh picked strawberry scent. So I'm going to show you the shapes that come in this. And this smells fantastic too. Oh, I'm so in love with it. I love, love, love her fresh picked strawberry. Oh, it's so delicious. So, um, this is in kind of like a pretty aqua blue and then pink. So these are the like coins that you get, like the medallions and the three packs that she does. And then a little rosebud. And I have a mosquito bite on my hand. You see that? Nasty, right? Right on my hand. I don't even know how you get bit right there without even seeing the darn bug. Um, another rosebud. And then this is her large, kind of like that medium of her older roses. Oh, this smells so good. It's heavenly. Another of her, the medallions, like from the three pack. Let's see, I'm going to try and straighten this out a little bit. And one of these roses. These are really, really pretty. Kind of like a blossomed rose, I guess. And then it has two of these giant ones, which are cool. Here is the second one. And then it has two of the really big medallions. The really, really big. And this one's cool. It's double layer. <laughs> So this is um, what is in the Bombshell Blossom Bag. Oh, it smells good. So good. I love the scent. I love, love, love the scent. I'm not going to want to melt it because I'm not going to want to run out of it. But anyhow, so this, um, love it. I don't even know what I'm going to say now. I'm just speechless. <laughs> I'm trying to get the bag situated. But I'm not going to take the time on video to put all this away. So... I just wanted you guys to kind of see what everything was. The shapes are really fun. And then I'm going to scoot this over and get it out of the way. Okay. And I'll put that away later. So then this first, um, so this is the first sample I'm going to go through on this particular video. And so on the front, um, and all of the samplers in this restock were the leaf shape. So I will show you those, but so she, you, it comes in a bag and then everything of course is individually packaged inside. There's her sticker on the front and then the back has the sampler name. So this is the great pumpkin. And so I wanted to have some yummy pumpkin scents for the fall and I love her pumpkin scent. So I'm trying to pull up the sampler right now. The great pump. So that I can go through all the scents with you guys because I know with my nose, I'm just going to smell the same thing on everything. So one of the things I really love about this, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to move this to the side so that as I pull them out, I can put them in front of you. So one of the things she changed, and she may have changed this in her July restock, but I didn't order in July, I did order in June, and I got a, a couple, or I got three samplers or two. Uh, I got two I got three samplers, but one of them was a scent shot sampler. The other two were um, a flower shape, one of her rose shapes. I think they were in the big rose. They were in this one, I think, or something. I don't remember now. But they came, the bags that she put them in were the kind that had the sticky seal that you fold over and it sticks. And those are fine. They seal them well, but... The more you open and close them, the stickiness starts to get ruined and whatever. So I don't like to open and close them. So this time, and she may have started this in July, I don't know. But this time she put them in the zip top bags. So I was super excited to see that because with this kind of a bag, I don't worry about opening and closing it as many times as I want to sniff everything. So I'm excited about that. So this is her leaf shape. And these are a good size. Let me see. I can, I have my scale. So I'm going to weigh one of them um, and tell you how much it weighs. It's probably about 2 ounces. Yeah, 2.2 .2 ounces. 
So this would be good for two melts. Um, if I do it in my living room, I may cut it in half and just put it into a couple different warmers. And then in total, the number of cents you got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 13 cents in here in total. But anyhow, this first one, this is the Great Pumpkin. And so this is the base scent, I think, for all of the blends in here. Everything in here has the Great Pumpkin in it. And that is pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting. Yum, right? Oh, and that smells delicious. It's a really creamy pumpkin, a sweet creamy pumpkin. And there's a hint of spice, but it's not a lot. Oh, that's really good. And then that cream cheese frosting. Oh, it adds like just kind of a creamy sweetness to it. Mm, that is good. So I'm really... I'm excited for this stuff and I'm glad I got it now because by the time they're all cured it'll be the perfect amount of time for melting they'll be good to go and oh and she does all these in double layered colors too so here's the next one it is the it's orange and white super cute and this is eggnog great pumpkin so this just has the great pumpkin with eggnog added mmm and I definitely get the eggnog scent, the extra kind of creaminess from it, and there's like the eggnog spice. That smells good. And then this way too, for me, I feel like getting her samplers, I get to try a lot of different scents. And then it gives me an idea if I find favorites, then those are scents I can go back and try and get in larger quantities later. This one's cute, the gray and the orange. And this is Sanderson Sisters Great Pumpkin. And that is um, the Great Pumpkin. And then the Sanderson Sisters is Green Apple Candy Corn Caramel Marshmallow. Yummy. That sounds good. Mmm, that's good. That's interesting. I'm definitely getting more of the Great Pumpkin right now. But I'm getting a little bit of that green apple and kind of the sweetness from the marshmallow. I'm not smelling really any caramel in it, and I don't know if I can tell the uh, the candy corn. It's kind of like a sweet candied apple with the pumpkin, you know, and the cream cheese frosting. That's really good, though. An interesting scent combination. So here's the next one. These are just so pretty. And this is the Great Pumpkin's Post, and that's the Great Pumpkin and Zucchini Bread Noel. Zucchini bread, vanilla bean noel. So it smells very similar to just the great pumpkin. And I don't actually, I, I cannot really tell a difference between this one and just the great pumpkin. I'm cold. I can pick up a little bit of the vanilla bean noel, um, but I'm not picking up any different notes from the zucchini bread. And of course, as these cure more, because these are pretty freshly poured still, they're all poured at the beginning of this month, so they're only a couple weeks old. I like to let my stuff from her sit for a while, so I feel like these will get stronger and I'll be able to smell more of the fragrances once they've cured more and then also once they melt. So this is pretty with the purple and the orange. And this is sugar cookie dough grape pumpkin. And my phone locked. Oops. Okay. So, so I think it's just the great pumpkin with sugar cookie dough bread, right? Why don't I? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's just the great pumpkin with sugar cookie dough added. That one's pretty easy. And I actually smell the sugar cookie dough on this one. So that gives it, it gives it more, it kind of subdues the spiciness of the pumpkin and gives it kind of a creamy, more cookie bakery scent. Mm. These are going to be so good for fall. I actually still have a few of her leaves left from last fall, uh, which I will definitely get to melting soon. So this next one, this is the Great Coffee Pumpkin, which just has coffee added to it. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's... The Great Pumpkin and Cafe Cubano, which I think is her coffee fragrance. So, which coffee and pumpkin, that's interesting. Oh, that smells really good. I'm pretty particular with coffee scents, because if they're too strong, I won't like them, but this one's really good. Having it mixed with this um, blend, the coffee's not overpowering, so that is really good. 
This next one is The Great Cookie Baking at Mom's. And this is the Great Pumpkin and Vanilla Dipped Gingerbread Men Cinnamon Buns and Sugar Cookies. So there's probably definitely going to be some more spice to this one. Yeah, I can definitely smell that gingerbread. And cinnamon. There's definitely more cinnamon. So it kind of smells like just a cinnamony gingerbread. But there's like a creaminess to it as well. So. It's good. Here's one. This reminds me of the Lakers. Because it, it's orange, but it's kind of like a light orange, like a yellowish in the purple. This is One Two Pumpkins Coming For You, which is The Great Pumpkin and Elm Street. Which Elm Street is a secret creamy fall blend that she has with Tiffany Candles. And so I know people like, a lot of people I think I've heard say they think Elm Street smells like um, butterscotch. Hmm, which I can see that. I mean, it's hard because I'm not smelling Elm Street on its own, and I've never smelled Elm Street before because when I heard people say butterscotch, I was a little concerned about having that in a fragrance. And this is mixed, obviously, with the Great Pumpkin. But I can see where people are getting that from. There's kind of like a butterscotchy note to it, or like a toffee or something. And that's really good. Mm, that smells really, really good. This one is pretty, the green and the orange. So this is, it's a wonderful, blah, blah, if I can talk. It's a wonderful pumpkin life. And this is the great pumpkin and just warm, cozy spices. Probably fall spices. Yeah, so this one's definitely more spicy. I get more cinnamon and kind of like a clove scent. Kind of like all those fall spices. Like if you have fall simmering spices going, it smells like that mixed with that kind of that pumpkin and cream cheese frosting scent. Here's the next one. And this is the Great Pumpkin Waffle Cone. So I think this is just the Great Pumpkin with waffle cone added. Yep. And it's my nose is getting thrown off a little bit because over to the side over there, I have my bag from the... The, the bombshell blossom bag. So I keep getting whiffs of the strawberry from that. Okay, so what was this? This is the Great Pumpkin with Waffle Cone. So it smells obviously just like the Great Pumpkin. Maybe I can smell a little bit of that bakery, like that extra waffle cone kind of scent to it. It makes it just a little bit sweeter. So it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these, they'll, they're going to smell pretty similar when I'm sure they're melting, but that is okay with me. This is a pretty color. That one's really pretty. And this is Cranberry Great Pumpkin, which is just the Great Pumpkin with Cranberry. Definitely smell the Cranberry. This is actually a really good blend. Ooh, that's like different. I've never put Cranberry and Pumpkin together that I can think of. And that's good. It's not like a spicy Cranberry. It's like a, kind of like a fresh, sweet Cranberry. Ooh, that's different. It's really unique. I like that one. Just a couple more out of this one. And this one's really pretty too with the white and the orange. This is the Great Pumpkin Zombie. And so it's the Great Pumpkin and Mac Apple Birthday Cake Whipped Cream. So I think that's White Zombie, right, is her fragrance. That's the Mac Apple Birthday Cake and Whipped Cream. So that's going to be good because I love pumpkin and apple scents together. That's pretty, that's pretty common. Oh, and I can smell the Mac Apple. That Mac Apple, like, actually is kind of overpowering this one in a good way. It's just like a creamy, I smell, I think, more of the White Zombie than I do the, the Great Pumpkin. Yeah, oh, that smells really good. Really, really good. And then the last one here, and get it out of the bag. That is a pretty blue color. And this is Blueberry Great Pumpkin. So again, Blueberry and Pumpkin, I think people blend that a lot together as well. And I definitely smell her Blueberry. To me, it's kind of an artificial Blueberry, but it smells really good still. Oh, that smells good. 
because you get the like warmth of the the great pumpkin that like pumpkin layer cake with that cream cheese frosting so it's creamy and sweet oh but that that like sweetness of the blueberry really comes out that is really good so anyhow so that's the first that's kind of the initial stuff i got so i will be back with a second and third video with the other two samplers thanks bye